Hi guys, welcome. My name is Kali. I'm an Instagram makeup artist and today I want to show you how you can modify your makeup routine to fit the current situation. Now, I've gone out with my usual makeup routine on my face and I must say the results were appalling. So this is what my masks look like after I went out. Okay, to make sure that this doesn't happen to your masks, we need two things. First of all, skincare. We need to make sure that your skin is ready and prepped. And second of all, long-lasting products that will stay on your face and at the same time do not clog your pores. The first thing I'm going to do is apply my Glow Booster right here. This is a 10% vitamin complex which has vitamin C, E, B3 and pineapple extract. So what I like to do is I'm just going to drop a few drops on this onto my skin, like so. And I'm going to take my massage roller right here and I'm going to just massage this into my skin. So they come in a set of three. They are available online and if you are the kind of person that likes to take their time in the morning and just wake up your skin slowly with a massage, then this is for you. I also have this rose quartz stone that is very good for facial massages and I like to use this in the morning as well just to get the blood flow going. Now these massage stones are only available online but if you are the type of person that likes to treat themselves and to just explore and try new things then this might just be for you. It will leave your skin feeling super soft and calm and just relaxed overall. The stones are very cold so they will give you this um, very calming sensation. Okay, now let's start the makeup. I like to start my makeup by using this Brow Colorist Semi-Permanent Brow Mascara. I'm just going to brush my brow hairs up and out. As you can see, just one coat of this and it completely changed my brow shape. Next, I will be using the Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil to fill in the gaps. Now that our brows are done, we are going to move on to our lips. I'm going to use these Aqua Ink Lip Liners right here. This one is in the shade Just Follow Your Rose. And even though you can't really see your lips under the mask, I still like to apply just a bit of color to my lips. Now this formula is so skin-like that you won't feel it at all on your lips and at the same time it's going to be very smudge proof. So I'm just rubbing my lips as hard as I can and nothing, nothing on there. Now I'm going to move on to my skin and today I will be using these liquid camouflage concealers right here. I will be using the shade Latte Macchiato, this one as a highlighter and I will be using the shade Espresso Beige, this one right here, as a contour color. During these times we really don't want to focus too much makeup on our skin. This is all the concealer I will be using today just to highlight and also spot conceal some of those areas and blemishes down here. I'm gonna go in with a stippling brush and just blend the concealer out like this. Now that we have concealed, I'm going to go in with this shade right here to contour and to make my face a bit warmer. Gonna go in right here, right here, then here on my nose and down here. I'm going to use a fluffier brush to blend all the product out, like so. Now we've only applied very little product but because they are so high coverage everything is covered but at the same time it is very 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 light on the skin. 
I'm going to use this 5-in-1 setting powder to set my whole face. This setting powder is mattifying, waterproof, sweatproof, fixing and also has SPF 10 in it. I'm just going to apply a light layer all over the areas we've just covered with concealer, leaving out the areas that are still bare. Now lastly, I'm going to take this HD Active Performance Freezing Spray and just mist my whole face with it. Now that our complexion is done, I am going to move on to the eyes and for this I'm going to use the same exact brow pencil again and I'm going to go in and just draw in a very very soft liner, close my eye a little and just fill it in. This doesn't have to be perfect, you can smudge it a little. It is just to enhance your eye, nothing more. So as you can see this is the liner. It is super quick and super easy to do with this pencil and I like to also extend my inner corners a bit so I'm just going to go in and just draw outwards like so. Now the last step is going to be our lashes and for this I'm going to use this mascara. It's the Glam Doll False Lashes Mascara. So this concludes our natural makeup look that I do every time I have to go out. And now for the fun part, because during these times we can try to experiment a bit more. So what I mean by that is creative makeup looks. You can do anything with your eye makeup and you can elevate the whole look into a new level. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so for this I'm going to take the Pro Palette, the Neon Earth Palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to play around with a couple of shades right here. So, for today's little experiment, we are going to intensify this foxy eye that is already going on. And for this, I'm going to take the color Eclipse right here, the darkest one right here. And I'm going to start with this and place it exactly where we put our liner. So I'm just going to go in here and we're going to drag the rest of the product out like this, just blending the edges. And as you can see with just one application, everything looks a bit more dramatic and dark. And that's what we are going for today. Now I'm going to take this color right here, it's called Earth, and just blend it on my lower lash line, like so. Now I'm going to take the same color on a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it onto here, right in the inner corners, just to give a bit of dimension. For an extra pop of color, I'm going to use this liquid eyeshadow in the shade Happiness, actually. I'm just going to place this in the center of my lid, like so. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend out the edges. And this is all we need to do. Now, if you're a bit extra, you can pop on a lash. I'm using the Insta Lashes right here. Now this is the final makeup look and I hope you had a good time, I hope this was helpful. Let me know down below what new products you would like to try and I hope to see you soon. Bye!